Because a lot of these young people, not all of these, not all young people are out there looting and rioting. We heard from young people who are out there because they're upset about what's happening in their country. And they are taking the lead, stepping into the void, and fighting for what's right. They're sick and tired. But yet, the people who have made it, many of them who are of color, and white folks as well, they are, the, these people who, these young people have put themselves in the line, they have nothing. They don't, they're not wealthy, they're poor kids. A lot of them were out there. All peoples enslaved and murdered other peoples, but white people were just really good at it. Uh, we were also really good at giving them rights and, and so on afterward. But a lot of people I asked to come on this show to talk about this, wealthy celebrities, wealthy political people. I can't do it, I'm mad, I don't want people to see me mad, it might hurt my business, or um, I, I, I'm so upset that I had to go to my country house and I just can't do it. The fact is, the United States of America, that is a white country. Where are you? Why aren't you fighting for these young people? If you don't do it now, when are you gonna do it? Yeah, white privilege is wonderful. I wanna expand and deepen white privilege. If you are a millionaire or a gazillionaire or a, a movie star or a politician and you don't step up now, when the hell are you gonna do it? We do dominate the world to, to an extent. Look at the boards of directors of most corporations, tons of white people and Jews. Stop making excuses. What, what, what are you worried about? If you have made gazillions of dollars and you are rich and you have established, why are you afraid? I do care about power. Power is good. Power is good if you're the boss, but in your world, if you get your dream, you're gonna kill our dreams. That's the problem. It's like you want to put your foot on our throats. You are your brand. Step up, people. Step up, Black Hollywood. Come on. The generation I come from mm -hmm. and the generations to come are not going to stand for that because we're not going backwards. We got to get past all this division because we're not going backwards. We're only going forward. sitting there and you're watching TV and you're bitching about it and you're saying oh my gosh I can't believe I'm watching this what is going on stop texting me and asking me oh my gosh Don what is happening to our country stop tweeting me and telling me I'm loving what you're doing get on television or do something and help these young people instead of sitting in your mansions and doing nothing and and have some moral courage and stop worrying about your reputation and your brand that's all i got to say reverend i'm sorry and i'm off my eye no, horse. No. go ahead oh no you're not on the high horse the very sad horrific and unfortunate murder of george floyd is truly a game changer we hope the justice system gets the sentencing right this time Considering that they will do that, well, after that, then what? What if we as blacks in America could make things a whole lot better for all of us by simply staying under the radar? Never having to march again and perhaps even protest. Never having to put ourselves in harm's way or destroy anybody's property and never having to disrespect anybody. What if in a completely nonviolent manner we could get all the lawmakers, all the law people to respect us as a deserving, valuable and viable entity appreciating what we have already committed to this country from day one. What if we could tweak the justice system without interfering with its ability to curtail violence and lawlessness? What 
if we could get all politicians to respect our vote and honor it long term? What if we could get people who will never like certain other people for whatever their reasons are to simply stay in their lane and live and let live and that includes every last one of us what if starting with Wall Street we could gain the respect and the appreciation of our hard earned dollars that we spend in and out of our communities online and everywhere else what if we could let the whole world see that America finally got it right when it comes to racism and if we could expose all the racist leaders in high places on all levels in and out of government what if we could do all these things and never have to expose who we are, expose our family, expose our professions or our privacy. What if all blacks in America or say 80 to 90 percent of all blacks in America could come together and establish one bond of solidarity and something that really matters most to all of us, regardless of who we are, what level of society we are on. What if we could get that one thing right for once and for all, where we could agree on the same thing, just one same thing? And what if we could commit to passing that bond, that understanding, that solidarity down to our next generation without thought or delay. Would we do it? Because if we would do it, it would make for our own people's Ten Commandments. <laughs>